I'm Kimminyoung. I'm Jung Joon. Today we are going to talk about container effect. Let's start. First, let me talk about classical Hall effect. The Hall effect is the production of voltage difference across an electrical conductor. Let me explain Hall effect by experiment. We have a thin conductive plate and we set current flow to it. Now, if we bring a magnetic field to the plate, the lens force which disturbs flow of carriers would make the electrons deflect to one side of the plate. Then, the other side of the plate becomes positive. What this means is that there exists a potential difference. The whole voltage can be derived by using Lorentz force, and whole coefficient is defined like this. Usually, we measure resistance, which differs from the resistivity. Then, whole resistivity is defined like this. From this, we can see that whole resistivity has linear relationship with magnetic field. And diagonal resistivity is defined like this. Note that it has no relationship with magnetic field. Then, let's talk about quantum Hall effect. What is different between classical and quantum case? In a two-dimensional electron system, electrons can move only to the interface under magnetic field, and the movement of electrons in the particular direction is limited. As a result, the resistivity is quantized as follows. Second, let's talk about quantum Hall effect. Now, what's quantum Hall effect? Quantum Hall effect occurs in two-dimensional electron system of low temperature and strong magnetic field. Quantum Hall resistivity and conductivity can be defined like this. We know that the frame constant H and electron charge E are constant values. It can be seen that whole conductivity is a form in which I is multiplied. I can be integer or fraction. From this, we can see that whole conductivity is quantized. The reason for quantized conductivity is Landau level. Landau level refers to quantized energy of charged particles when a magnetic field is present. As we increase the magnetic field, the spacing between Landau levels increase and the number of Landau levels below the Fermi level decreases. When the Fermi level is in between two Landau levels, there are no delocalized states available for spectral flow and hence the whole conductance remains constant. The filling factor I is a measure of how many Landau levels are filled. Let's start with an integer quantum Hall effect where the filling factor is an integer. When an integer number of lambda levels are filled, energy gap between the bottom state and the excision state occurs. At this time, the whole resistivity is on H divided by square of E and integer, and the diagonal resistivity becomes zero. Fractional quantum Hall effect is the case when filling factor is a fraction. The energy gap is created not only when the lambda level is filled, but also when it is partially filled. This can be interpreted by quasi-particles. When low temperature and strong magnetic field are applied, the electron cloud will minimize the repulsive force and it will condense. By this, the properties of the electrons change, resulting in quasi-particles having partial charges of electrons. In this case, diagonal resistivity does not disappear even when the whole resistivity is constant, which has fractional filling factor. Then, what is the quantum Hall effect application? Prior to 1990, the resistance standard changed with time because the physical properties of resistor changes. However, the quantum Hall resistance is almost unchanged if only a constant temperature and magnetic field are applied. This can be implemented by two-dimensional electron gas appearing at the heterojunction boundary of the semiconductor. This is the principle. The quantum Hall resistance is H divided by square of E and integer. It can be seen here that the quantum Hall resistance value is represented only by the physical fundamental constants E and H, so it's same regardless of the type of semiconductor device. The quantum Hall resistance corresponding to each integer I has the following values. In practice, the standard organizations use the value I is 2 because the required magnitude of the magnetic field when I is 1 is too high. Thank you for listening. Hope you understand quantum Hall effect well. 